next piece is, to be fair, not quite a popular tune, um, but you're going to enjoy it, I promise. Um, it's called Symphonia Rhythmico, and it's by Robert Moore, and he's still alive, the composer. So I've actually been emailing with him because I had some questions about something in the score, reached out to the publishing company, they put me in touch with him, and we've had a very pleasant back and forth exchange. Um, so this piece I chose for this concert because um, it's really fun with a really big group of string players. Um, the composer and the editor for the piece are both cello players. So this is a chance for the cello and the bass players. They finally have more notes to play than the violins do, which is a big deal. Um, the violists get some more notes too, I would say. Though this is a low string opportunity, so being a low string player myself, I tend to go for these things. Um, this piece has a lot of interesting layers to it. Um, I'll highlight two to talk about. So the piece itself, um, com compositionally, is based off of two ideas that are kind of repeated throughout the piece. One is you're going to hear the opening melody in the cello section, and that's a melody that, that you'll hear come back again and again. But to, very, to the very beginning of the piece is a very particular rhythm. And this rhythm is repeated then as one bar formations, but then it's augmented, so it's like stretched out so that the notes are longer, but the, the length, the proportions of it are the same. So then you have two measures of it, or then you have four measures of it, or sometimes you have up to 16 measures once you get half the whole notes involved. So throughout the piece, there's times where some, one of the sections is playing the 16th note or the one measure variation of it, just kind of over and over. While another section of the piece, when you hear them playing long notes, they're playing that same pattern, just super elongated and stretched out. Um, the pattern itself um, offered an opportunity to use um, specific counting syllables. So in music, there's different ways to count rhythms. Um, one of them is just one, two, three, four, one and two and three, and, and in the music education world, there's other syllables that you can use. One of them that I was taught in college is based off of Indian classical rhythm syllables. It's not fully true to that, but it's inspired by that. So the first measure is rhythm, and, and we all learn this, and I, if you, I think you should make them say it for you on the drive home. Um, it's the, the rhythm pattern goes taka di mi, ka di, taka di, ta di, if you're using those syllables. Um, so we've all learned that and used that to help count it, because on the page it can look very intimidating and scary, but once you get used to the pattern, it repeats, and then that adds the notes in, and it's, um, it's really invigorating to play. Um, so we hope, oh, and another thing I want to share, the middle section uses mutes which we don't tend to use a lot. A mute, you're gonna see them move like a small little rubber circle thing onto their bridge. Essentially, it's going to dampen the vibrations of the bridge. So it's not gonna stop the sound completely, but it tends to give it like a pastel sort of color all of a sudden. So in the middle of the piece, sandwiched between the two faster sections, um, you're gonna suddenly hear like the orchestra just like get quieter all of a sudden, and that's when we put on the mutes for that color change. So enjoy that. Um, that the difference of sound. Um, okay, now that's everything. Okay, so now we're on to perform for you Symphonia Rhythmico by Robert Moore. 